Mook Regional High School and today we are here to do the code flow test using the chipboards we put together at the school. Hey, I'm Ronan Joyce, I'm from uh, Nimmuck High School in Upton, Massachusetts and I'm here with my teacher and a couple of classmates and we're um, helping max IQ with the sensor arrays and just testing the vibrations, the, there's particle sensors to uh, test for soot and CO2 and I think there's some environmental sensors that test for the weather and stuff like that. My name is Cody Harris, I'm the program manager at Max IQ Space and today we're here at Blue Shift Aerospace um, participating in a cold flow engine test. Uh, we had students here today who were asking some great questions to the engineer and to the CEO. Uh, they had questions about the business strategy, they had questions about the operations of the vehicle. Um, and most importantly though, you could see that they were really thinking critically about each and every different aspect of the process. So how does the cold flow relate to the static fire and how will the static fire relate to the actual rocket launch itself? Today was valuable not only for our students, but for the Max IQ team as well. Uh, this is the first opportunity that we had to be able to test the 3U enclosure that was designed by an undergraduate student from Princeton University. Um, this is the same payload enclosure that will be used on our suborbital flight as well, uh, in which you can see that we have multiple different student payloads that are mounted and working in series. 